hey guys welcome back to my channel today I thought I would start a little shopping vlog you guys love when I do these and I love taking you guys with my errands um, when I'm in town and just like going to all the fun stores looking for the new stuff so I have been on the hunt for Target Halloween stuff I think the past couple weeks I went last week really didn't see anything I don't know when they're setting up their Halloween shop maybe not till September but I feel like so many stores have their Halloween stuff out so I've just been like waiting I just cannot wait to see what they're gonna put out for the holidays here so we're gonna head in um, just kind of running some errands this morning I did have a photo shoot today at the boutique I work at so we're full glam already at noon um, and then I might want to stop at Ulta and see if they got in the rest of the Ariana Grande body care. I picked up a scrub from them last week. It was the only one they had, so I might want to stop in there too and see what's new. But yeah, let's go to Target and see what we can find. So they're adding in some more stuff in the dollar section. It looks like this one just has a very small dollar section. But they have these cute little Hocus Focus and then Wicked Thorns little bottles to store stuff in. And then they have these cute little Dormas. This would actually be like perfect in my house because I just need a small one. But they just have the Happy Halloween and then they do have a little pumpkin as well as these dish towels. I like to see what ones they come out with here, but I feel like TJ Maxx does have some better ones. This is kind of fun. This little pumpkin organizing tray. That's cute. I like that. Something a little more unique. And they're starting to get in some of their signs and stuff too. It's definitely not everything yet. And a bunch of pumpkin stuff. <laughs> Which it looks like some stuff already sold out. They have those cozy pumpkins again this year and some just fillers. Also forgot to share the pillows. I like the little jack-o'-lantern one. And then they have a trick-or-treat. The store we're at today is a really small Target. It's not even like a super Target or anything, but sometimes they have some different hidden gems. Like this sweatshirt is extremely soft. I might have to pick this up. I really like just the plain gray burnout look. And yeah, it's just incredibly soft. Sometimes the Target ones can be iffy. It's Wild Fable for 25. I might have to pick this up. It's really cute. They do have the Hocus Pocus shirts back in for Halloween, which these sold out really fast last year. So I would definitely snag them now if you want one. I love their graphic tees. They have tons of Disney ones too. Also a new Def Leppard hoodie. I like the design, but it's really thin. So we're gonna pass on that. You guys know I buy like all the Def Leppard things. Some new claw clips. Ugh, I love the Target claw clips. These are really fun. I like the jeweled ones, but that one looks kind of small. But they have some really cute designs right now. I've been trying to find more of these Lay's collabs that they've been doing with other chips brands. Um, I find them mostly at the grocery store, but we bought like the Fritos Lay's ones. I didn't really care for those so much, but they do have the Funyuns ones here, which do kind of look good. But I think that's the only one they have. I feel like they sell out really fast. I don't know if it's something they'll keep doing. But yeah, that's the only combo they have, but... Yeah, I'll have to check the grocery store and see if they have any other ones that would be fun to try. I think I saw a Cheetos one as well. I've just been kind of getting a few snacks here. Got some trail mix, you know, Cheez-Its, some boring things. Okay, the hearth and hand section does have a couple of fall things they're putting out. These little pumpkin pillow cushions are really cute. I kind of want one, but I just don't know what I would do with it. I know you can put it on your couch as like a pillow, but these are 20 and they have this gold like it kind of looks like a little pompous grass thing like goldenrod $20 they had something similar last year and this is just a really subtle pumpkin pillow that's pretty cute too they also have those little pumpkin pillows um, in the cream that one looks a little bit bigger a lot of really nice blankets as well I like this pillow too another very subtle pumpkin yeah, I feel like they always have the best decor in this section. Ooh, it looks like they put out a bunch of fall candles as well. I do like the Target candles. They are on a little bit light from when I've tried them, but they do have some pretty good scents like pumpkin brulee here, bourbon pumpkin. Ooh, pumpkin pancakes. That sounds good. Mm, that smells like pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath and Body Works. That's a pretty good dupe. I think I think these are the ten dollar ones. I don't know if this is new. I'm assuming maybe cocoa vanilla meringue. That's kind of light, but it's very cozy. I really like it actually. 
even more over here. I know they've been going crazy with the candles. Frosted sugar cookie. I'm assuming this is a new one. It has little fall leaves on it. I don't really smell much from that. These are Opal House brand. They have pumpkin cheesecake cookies. Yeah, these just do not smell as strong and cold as the other ones did. Let me know if you've tried this brand, if they are good, but they don't seem very strong at all. Pumpkin spice trail mix. They have a caramel apple caramel corn. That sounds delicious. So I kind of like these slippers because they have like the cushiony plastic like bottom and not furry because I don't know if slippers just get gross I feel like these won't get so gross so fast they're stars above they're very comfortable these are $18 I really like the pink but they don't have my size so I think I'm just gonna get the nude black ones but they also have like this purple one too I believe these are new fall ones these kind of white booties and then black so they're starting to get in some fall shoes here Okay, I came to another store and their dollar spot has a lot more stuff. Of course, it is like two days later too, so that could make a difference, but they have a lot more just like Halloween pumpkins. They have some of those paper bats that you can use um, to put on the walls. These are really cool to decorate with. This is cute, a little pumpkin basket. And this cute ghost pumpkin, that's adorable. These gumball machines are really popular as well. They had colored ones throughout the years. This one's iridescent, which is so cool to just like store candy in and stuff like that. And then they have some more of these like organizing bottles. And they have this iridescent skull jar. They're starting to set up a little Halloween section over here and they have some fun stuff in it looks like. So they're really starting to put this stuff out now that school started the other day. They have some fun little molds and different trays and dishes. This is kind of fun with the spider. And some really pretty plates up here too. There's a few more things in here that they just started getting into. Some spooky like plant decor, and I really like the spider pillow down here. Here's some more cute ones with the little pumpkins and then the skeletons. They actually added quite a few more t-shirts. They have this little dancing skeleton one as well. And the Slim Mummy Snoopy up here too. This Alice shirt is really cute. It's so colorful, as well as the Scooby-Doo one. I am definitely a Scooby-Doo girl. I grew up watching this. We got a few fall flannels here as well. This is a really pretty kind of lilac. And they have this nice green one too. They are pretty soft. $25 for those. But yeah, I love this purpley one, pinky purple. I'm in the beauty section real quick. I grabbed a couple new pixie bronzing sticks which I'm curious about trying the blushes went very viral and another viral product they have in stock they just stocked the elf halo glow in stores so if you weren't able to snatch it online you can now get it in store this is gorgeous I haven't even talked to you guys about it yet but I really love it it's so pretty on the skin I like mine as a primer oh and they have this too which I want to grab their little powder puff too um, it kind of looks like the beauty blender one that was super popular so I'm gonna grab that as well, it's four bucks. Also, I've heard pretty good things about this Revolution cream bronzer, so I might pick this up as well to try. I don't really buy much from them, so that's a first. I finally found some fall snacks. They must not have the section ready yet, but they have it in the normal sections. They got pumpkin spice Oreos. I don't remember if we've had these before. I feel like they're newer. I don't know. I don't know if I would like those. I'm not a big pumpkin spice food person. They also have the uh, like spooky ones with the pumpkins. We do have some new cereals. It looks like they have a Hocus Pocus one, of course, for the new movie, Berry Brew. That's super fun. And then like some Fruit Loops with Halloween marshmallows in it. And then chocolate frosted flakes, which sounds pretty good. So yeah, I was excited to see that. That Hocus Pocus one is totally new. A few more shoes added. I really like these white. They're almost like a faux snake skin leather those are so cute i know they had some western boots too but it looks like those are kind of sold down they only have like literally a couple pairs left these tall western boots those are cute there's only a couple sizes left in those too these are 44. all right day two of target shopping and i am 
definitely shopped out for sure found so much cute stuff though i haven't done a target like big haul in a minute and i love when they come out with their fall stuff we still didn't see a ton of halloween but i feel like i'll have another one of these videos in a couple weeks because they were definitely starting to set up for their halloween shop which i'm just so excited for so you'll be seeing another one of these soon which will probably mostly just be a shop with me i don't know if i'll buy as much as i did this time i just saw some real cute stuff i needed some things so we have a bunch of random stuff so i figured i'll like do a little haul in this video i'm just running a couple more errands and then we'll head home and i'll show you guys what i got at target all right i'm going to share with you everything that i purchased at target which was actually quite a bit um from these past couple of trips i made so First thing, I did grab a couple organizing things uh, from the Bright Room line. I just got a couple things just because it was a little bit pricey. I feel like I can find maybe this stuff on Amazon for a little bit cheaper, but I feel like this would be really nice storage in my bathroom. I really need to do a reorganization in that area, so I'm trying to find some new containers for things because everything is just like stacked in cabinets right now. So I got this. I thought it would be a nice size. I have a very small bathroom countertop. Um, in our bathroom downstairs and I'm trying to find something to store my stuff on so I grabbed this we'll see if I end up using it this is like a little turning one which is nice and I feel like you could fit some taller things down here just the basics and then a couple of things on top so I also grabbed this two-tier uh, turntable both of those I think were in the bathroom section this was really like the only Halloween ish item that I got which I'm kind of annoyed at right now because I know this it has like this like weird lettering that was like printed on there I don't know but it was this little pumpkin tray it is pretty cute and I know once you have stuff in there you won't really see that but I decided to pick that up for five dollars I saw a ton of stuff in the dollar spot section this time around um I don't even know if that's what they call it anymore it used to be the dollar spot I also picked up some dough bar soap I was pretty much out of soap um so I always like to combo my soap and then do a shower gel with it and my favorite from dove is the coconut and cocoa butter scent so I picked that up in a four pack of soap I got a few like snack items as well so I actually saw I think it was my cousin I saw post this on her Instagram, this monster trail mix from Favorite Day. And I've never really looked in the food section that much when I'm at Target. It's just not really somewhere I buy my groceries because I usually will just go to like the local grocery store and stuff. I never know what to get at Target that's like special. So I know their Favorite Day line is exclusive to them and this did look pretty good. So it's their monster mix. It has peanuts, M&M's, milk chocolate, raisins, um, milk chocolate chips, and peanut butter chips. It sounds so good and while I was looking I saw even more that they had so I got the peanut butter chocolate as well which this kind of looked like puppy chow a little bit it has peanut butter cups milk chocolate cereal squares peanuts chocolate chips and peanut butter chips and then I also got the peanut butter monster which is similar to the monster but like more peanut butter pieces I did get a few clothing things while I was there I just kind of grabbed some stuff I haven't tried it on yet but I picked up this from Colsey which is in like their pajama section this is just a black ribbed bodysuit it looked nice it looked a little bit small though um, I think I grabbed an XL because of how it looks so we'll see about that but this was 15 bucks and I could definitely use just a plain black bodysuit I also got this from the stars above line I wanted some new pajama pants so I picked up these little gray soft pajama shorts I love the stars above I always buy my pajamas from this collection at Target it's so soft I absolutely love it so this was 20 and I also got this pair of like mauve joggers also from stars above really super soft comfy cozy material these were also 20. i bought that gray sweatshirt Ugh, i'm obsessed with this sometimes target clothes are so hit or miss for me so i really don't buy a lot i feel like mostly i buy their lounge stuff but i like my clothing to feel like good quality and feel very soft i don't know i'm just particular about the material of stuff and I feel like a lot of their clothes feels a little scratchy a little thin it's not always my favorite but this had a really amazing texture it's amazingly soft um, I wanted to I wasn't sure what size to get they didn't have a large so we're gonna go with the oversized extra large because I do love a good oversized hoodie for the fall I just love that this is a plain gray with like this burnout 
material. Almost looks like little paint splatters, but this is so cozy. This was $25. I'll link it down below too, and if I find more colors on this, I definitely want to grab more of them. I talked about these slippers in my shopping portion, so I picked up these Stars Above ones with the plasticky bottoms, which again, I really like because they won't get grody as fast as like some regular ones do, and you can take them outside if you want, but I'm going to try and keep them just for indoors. But yeah, I got those. And then shoes. They actually had some really cute shoes, so went a little crazy today. I bought this pair of lug boots. I just love these for the fall. I have a pair that's a little more expensive from, I think, what's the brand? Dolce Vita, maybe? I found them at TJ Maxx last year that are cream suede, and I wear them so much because they're like the most comfortable things. So I figured I would try these. These are actually quite comfortable. I know Target shoes are more affordable, but they are pretty like comfy, like you can wear all day. They run a little bit big, but I like them big so I can put socks with them and they'll just be comfortable to throw on. So I wanted a black pair because I feel like that was something I was really missing last year. Um, with the cream, it doesn't quite go with everything, but these just kind of give you that more, I don't know, grungy, casual fall look, like pairing with sweatshirts, graphics tees and all of that these were 39 and then I picked up these these were the only pair and I don't know if they were a return or what um, or if they do have them on their website I'll see if I can find them but these are pretty comfortable too they had these like white crocodile almost looking material boots for fall um, which I feel like I could use because the only white boots I have are just ones that look more dressier they're just a plain white from Steve Madden so these were 34. They also have memory foam in them. I'll see if I can find them linked. They're universal thread. So we got those as well. So kind of a little jump start here on the fall fashions. I grabbed a couple makeup things as well. So these pixie blush sticks have been going crazy on TikTok. But they had a new collection, which is their On The Glow bronze collection that had some new colors plus bronzer. So I picked a couple of these up. Um, this one is in Warm Glow, which it's in the bronzer collection, but it looks like a blush to me. And people have just been like applying these straight on the cheeks. Okay, this actually is really shiny. I should have picked up, they had a light pink one there too. That was just a regular blush. So I should have grabbed that, but this could be pretty. Maybe a, like a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury. Peach Gasm or Pink Gasm. It actually is very pretty, but people just apply these straight on the cheeks and just blend them out and they look so effortless. And then I grabbed the bronzer. They had a few different shades. This one is in Rich Glow, which I think is like the medium tone. Oh, that's going to be very glowy. Maybe I'm going to regret this. <laughs> I'll try it out and see how it goes. But yeah, I probably should have just picked up one of those blushes, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. And then I also grabbed this Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer in Medium. I've been seeing these, um, have been getting some good reviews, so I figured I would check it out. I'm always looking for some good affordable bronzer options that I can recommend to you guys. Here's how it looks unblended, so it's pretty pigmented and then bl it actually blends out really easily. So I know Revolution gets a lot of hate. And I'm not usually a big fan of their collections, but I feel like their normal line, the Revolution line, you can find some hidden gems. I just feel like their palettes are not it for me, but I don't know. It looks like a nice color. I might end up liking it. And then I was excited to find the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder Puff there, um, which I want to use for under eye setting. Um, or you can use it all over the face too. These kind of powder puffs make everything look just so smooth. So this is new, I believe. And I believe that is everything in this quick little Target haul. There's actually quite a bit of stuff. Sorry, I went through it very quickly. But since we already had the shop with me in the beginning, I don't want to take too much time. So yeah, I found some good stuff this time around. I definitely want to film a couple more maybe uh, once they start getting their Halloween. And maybe I can film like also at Walmart seeing what the decor they have because they didn't have a ton as of now but i love checking out what the stores have for new arrivals so that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys